Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Making Home here. This is Priscilla again and today we're going to talk more about delegating, okay? So if you saw my last video, it was about time management, how you can restore, how you can manage, how you can do whatever fun things eh, you can put into your life so that time becomes maximized. Time management, if you can give something away, if you know there is someone who can do whatever you want to do as good as you want it, if there is someone who can actually step in for you, just give it away. Okay. okay. So um, many of you commented and the biggest challenge that many people had was delegating tasks or whatever they had to delegate okay, to others. Okay. So because this also has been a challenge that I have been facing, okay, I love doing things for myself by myself okay because i have that the, that gives me a satisfaction of yes this is done well because i did it effectively okay? maybe if you look at delegating certain tasks to someone in this way it will help you pretty much delegate on smoothly okay with your mind in one place knowing that the other person is going to do a perfect job for you okay maybe not a perfect job we should cancel the word perfect and say a good job for you okay so here's the thing if um you were doing the same thing all over and all over again let's say each and every day it's a daily task you're doing okay um you will reach a point where you are actually good at that task okay or let us say even if it's just weekly okay you do on wednesday at 10 each and every wednesday of the month those are four or five wednesdays you're always doing the same thing okay you're going to reach a point where you have perfected your skill in that particular task okay and if you have perfected something why are you keeping on doing the same thing okay isn't it no, I want you to look at it this way. Isn't it time to just move on to perfecting your skill in another way or um, getting on to the next task? So let me give you just a short example. If um, I put out here on YouTube a video each and every week, okay, and that video is edited by me, that means each and every week I get better in editing or I learn something new and add on to my skills in editing, okay? If I'm doing this now for like... Um, seven whole weeks i get better each and every day if i do this for a whole year and i'm like okay my editing skills are okay but i have i reach a level or i tell myself that i've reached a level where i'm like okay with editing we are good okay i have learned um whatever to whatever maximum i wanted to learn editing i think this is enough i think i have perfected my skill in this in this department of editing let me just move on then i will maybe go um somewhere else and maybe start um, practicing my speech to become better. So my point in all of this is, if you get to a certain point in a certain skill, maybe it is high time for you to delegate in that department, whatever you have managed, okay, to say, okay, we are at our maximum, okay, I have, I think I've got enough of this, I have learned what I wanted to learn, I am at, at the top of my game, or whatever point I wanted to reach, it is already reached, okay, maybe I will delegate that. In my example, it is the editing. If I have gotten to a point where I'm like, okay, maybe I've managed um, to edit my videos in a certain way that I wanted, that's my maximum or that's the goal that I set for myself, then maybe it's now time to kind of um, 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 correct my speech or learn more on how to put uh, myself out there to talk properly or to um, talk accurately, okay? Maybe now it's time to learn to or to invest more in my speech than I do in my editing, okay? So... That helps me in a way that I am not saying, ah, someone will do a bad job at editing. No, I have reached my maximum, okay? Or the maximum point that I think I can go in the editing, okay? So in, in one way or the other, I am viewing this as not giving away things that I could do and, and it's going to bother me because I can't do them anyway or I can't do them to perfection, okay? Or someone else won't do them to perfection. But rather, I have... um. I have I have learned a skill now I'm moving on to the next one okay peacefully and and totally satisfied that I have pretty much learned whatever I had to learn here so I'm just moving on to the next skill okay to enrich myself somewhere else I hope this tip will help you um delegate better and delegate um more or less stress that you can maximize actually the time that you have got to do the fun things 
to learn more skills, to just enrich your life with so many things. Listen, time is not our friend, but when maximized, okay, you can really do so much with so little time. And don't forget, there is actually no little time, okay? It's just what you decide to prioritize that you will actually get out of life, okay? Nobody has more hours than you. We all get the 24 hours. It's what you do. It's what you put into those 24 hours, okay? Um, that's what you get. Okay, the input you put into those 24 hours is how you um, prioritize, how you manage to delegate or not to delegate. It's what you put in that will come out, okay? So we all have the same 24 hours. A mother of 10 has 24 hours. A career woman has the 24 hours. And a student has the same, surprise, the same 24 hours. It's what you put in that will come out, okay? So hopefully this will help. Bye. We'll see you in my next one.